Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to import uh, Cinema 4D models onto a video track um, like in my 5k uh, montage uh, as you can see I put the skull and I've got the Jason Voorhees model Voorhees? Voorhees? Um, walking past it um, on a video um, on a map standoff in Call of Duty Black Ops 2 um, before we start you probably best downloading my Cinema 4D pack um, this will give you um, BVH files um, on how to uh, and basically like animation uh, bone setup uh, so you can animate your models um, so that's a good thing to download before we uh, before you get started um, but now I'm going to show you obviously how to do it um, I've got my soldier here um, he's just basically cross armed with his head down what you want to do um, once you've got your model already in you've done everything you wanted you want to right uh, sorry double click down here and this will create a new material you want to double click on the material uncheck specular make sure the color is checked load image and then load the scene that you want to use now uh, mp4 is probably the best format that you can use for this um, I use an Algato and basically whatever um, I record with Malgato, the format is perfect for Cinema 4D. But you, uh, you guys, if you don't use an Algato, render it in Sony Vegas into an MP4 format. Um, so as you can see here, the new material is the video. What you want to do is you want to come up to here where it says Add Floor Object, go down to Background, and it will import a background. Now what we'll do is we'll drag and drop the material onto the background. And as you can see now, is that the background is on here. Um, what you may want to do is you want to uh, edit your uh, render project uh, settings. Um, I put it to 1280 by 720, press enter, and then just exit. And as you can see now, it fills out the back a little bit more. Right, now, um, this is up to you on how far, like where you want the model to be. Um, I use the arrows here, and you've got a rotation here as well. Um, so you just place the, uh, the object where you want it. I'm just going to place them there just for the tutorial sake. Um, so as you can see, it doesn't look very realistic when you um, click the preview of the render. Um, what we want to do is we want to add some shadowing down here um, to make it more realistic. What we'll do is we'll add a, floor, uh, a plane or a floor. If you want to add a floor, you just go to the add floor object and do it. Um, I just stretch it all the way out. So if you hit on the scale object tool, you can stretch it as far as far out as you want. Um, you want to make sure that it's just underneath his feet so if we zoom right in here you'll get what I'm on about. So if I lift this up it was quite far below his feet so now if you look on his feet it's gonna it's like on his feet so I'll just place it so it's just a little bit under um, like that if you uh, preview it it looks fine. So now I'm gonna zoom out and what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the plane go into cinema 4d tags compositing you want to check the compositing background uncheck the self shadowing now if you hold control click and then you want to drag and drop it up onto the plane above what you're going to see is is that the plane is now invisible um, I want to move my character down so I'm going to have him back there again zoom in a little bit more so it's going to be about there. So now um, you're not going to be able to see the plane and it still looks pretty shit. Now what you want to do is go back into your render uh, settings, go on effect, ambient occlusion. I usually set this to about 50 or 60. Um, I put the ray length to about 160, press enter. Um, now what you can add is a light. So add light object, place it above the character or whatever model you're using. And what you're going to see is, is that there's shadowing on the map um, and on the character. Now I have um, a certain lighter that I use and it is in the Cinema 4D um, pack so you can use that. Um, there's lighting in there and everything. So if I get rid of that light there and you're going to see a little example of what my lighting looks like. Um, let's bring it back out. So if I render this out you're going to see it looks a lot better and it's a lot more realistic than what the standard light looks like. 
Now, if you have a background, um, so you've got like a wall, say like the car, say if the shadow is on the car, what you can do is if you um, click on the plane, click on the plane, edit and copy, then edit paste, it's going to um, basically paste the exact same um, plane. And obviously it's got all the compositing mode on, it's got the map already on there. Then you just tilt it up by clicking the rotation tool um, and then you you size it to the size of that car and then what that will do so if I keep sizing it you'll create a little shadowing like a wall behind him so say if I want to put that right by the car I'm going to put it a little bit further back because it's a little bit more in the distance um, and what that'll do is that will act as like a, um, a boundary for the shadow to bounce off now that's not going to look too good but um, you'll get the idea if, it, if the shadow reaches that far um, but that's basically it. Um, what you have to be careful of is your lighting position. So as you can see, the plane um, does show up on there. So you have to be careful of your lighting on there. Um, but that's basically all you have to do. And once you've um, animated the model, so using the BVH files, which I'll show you in this video, so you really need to check that out if you want to uh, have your uh, models animated. Um, once you've had it an animated, use the arrows um, and all the keys to move it, resize it, whatever you want to do um, and then it'll just basically put it into position, you add your lighting and obviously your shadowing and then just render it out uh, like your usual settings would be in Cinema 4D so that's basically it um, if you have any more questions then feel free to ask but um, that's it for today guys, comment, rate, subscribe and I'll Catch you guys later, not catch you guys later, fucking idiot.